Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 11.30, August 26th, Monday, about 70 degrees, and it's raining. I don't know, can you guys see this? I'm not sure if you guys could tell. Here, you can see the water running off the Cushman. So what am I up to today? Well, I'm back on the hoop building basically recycling plywood <clears throat> you guys remember I built this shelf to uh, for my son's stuff so he wouldn't have to rent all that, rent a storage unit and for those of you with sons or daughters the idea was that he wouldn't rent a storage unit but he would pay me for the materials well he didn't do that but such is life um, Never paid me, uh, well, never mind. Um, so, recycle on the plywood. Uh, here's uh, some of the tires that got off of it. This is that uh, Red Rider Smith Cow. That's where it's from. I don't know, for any. You never know. Sometimes when you show these type of stuffs, people go, wow, I used to work there. So it's made by Smith Co. and it's known as a Red Rider. This came... I, th This one came from... Shoot, I forgot the name. I forgot the name of the uh, golf course. Golf course is um, located there in Poughkeepsie. Anyway, she started right up. Uh, drove it here, loaded it up with tires. So now it waits to go to the next place. Where is the next place? I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these tires yet. But in the meantime, at least I'm not moving them one at a time. They're all under the tarp. But even with that whole pile of tires, I still got more tires. You know, I really got to stop hoarding tires. It's getting to be a problem. Um, so, I already took the 4x4 from there, and the 4x4 from there, and this 4x8's ready to go. And looks like the rain paused for a moment. So let's step outside. Ugh. Yeah, good, it stopped. Well, down to a slow drizzle anyway. Here is, uh, got my little work spot under the tarp here. It's actually very nice, very refreshing to be on, on, over here. Um, here's the platform. You could see I put the 4x8 there, 4x8 there. I uh, use just typical construction, you know, 16 on center. And a nice little whoop -dee on this. I don't know if you guys could see the whoop -dee on uh, this guy. I'll straighten that out before I finish screwing it in. Once again, the corners, just your typical L to support this. Um, obviously... This side will be down, that side will be down, plywood up. Um, I didn't put all the plywood on it, because to be honest with you, moving this the way it sits is right on the edge of my ability to physically move it. I kind of get it up sideways and drag it a couple of inches and rest and drag it another foot and rest and drag it another few inches and rest. Um, one time... And as a matter of fact, it was building, I think it was building this barn here. That guy, who's, uh, who's another 8x12, I think. I was dragging it, and it kind of came down on me, and I was underneath it. And I couldn't lift it and slide out from underneath it at the same time. It wasn't hurting me or killing me or anything. I was just stuck under it. And I couldn't quite get under it, get out from under it. Eventually, I crawled to a couple, boy, I got everything biting me out here. Crawled to a uh, pile of um, stuff like this and uh, managed to jam a couple of pieces underneath it and, uh, and wiggled myself loose. But it was annoying, you know, because here I am with all this work to do and I'm, you know, 
kind of lying down half under that half not once again it wasn't killing me but it wasn't exactly comfortable either it wasn't where I wanted to be at the moment so there's that um, I'd really I, I have a kind of a cut off I have a cousin coming today to see me so I kind of have a, a, a tight cut off so I um, I got to I got to be ready to go out and play um, but I really where this wire thing is and uh, those first couple of bikes there that's that's where this is gonna sit the um, that far wall over there is gonna be up against this right and this uh, this picture the hoop right the hoop is just gonna be pushed right up against there and it's gonna be like that so that's the way it's gonna look um, so there's that uh, my son, you know, my other son, he went out and got himself a new toy. Let me show you his new toy. He paid 35 bucks from this, for this thing. He got it running. He was riding it around. And he already broke it. Borrow the water box here. I don't know if you guys have seen these things floating around. The thing is like tiny. Here. That's just to show you dimensionally what it looks like. Here, I'm going to climb on it quick. Just to let you guys know, I am not seven foot tall or eight foot tall. I'm only about, I don't know, what am I, about five, seven and a half, five, eight. So, well, you could see by the gas jug, this is a one gallon gas jug. Anyway, he paid 35 for it. He's out driving it and he broke the chain. I guess he, uh, he, uh, he said he was running it jumping it over jumps and uh, it came down and damaged the chain uh, I'm not sure I would drive that over a jump because uh, your jewels are right here and if you go over a jump your jewels look like uh, they could get broken so I don't know kids all right folks um, we'll catch you on the next episode of the horde I'm gonna try to keep moving with this now that it's more or less stopped raining because I really kind of have a hard stop and if I could get this thing built and get a few things into it it loosens my garage up and if I could loosen my garage up and actually work in there that means I'm no longer weather dependent if I'm not weather dependent I could move along a little higher rate um, especially if I can um, roll things out right now I mean, we've already talked about this. I gotta figure out how to get a carburetor on this thing. This space here, where my thumb is, is not enough space for a carburetor. If I rotate, if I get a different manifold and put it more out, you know, which spins it around outward, I'm still not sure things will fit. I might have to lose this bracket. Um, but even with that, I'm not sure. I'm going to be able to get an air filter onto it. We'll have to see um, before I finish cutting those motor mounts, the ones in the front there. Uh, I think you can see them. Um, I want to make sure that the whole thing is going to get to come together. I don't want to spend another three hours cutting motor mounts and then throw them away. That makes me cranky. 
All right, folks, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Hopefully, I'll get a second video out today. We'll see how quickly I move along. If there's nothing to, uh, to publish, there's no use publishing it, eh? All right, folks, take care now. Remember, tires down, handlebars up. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting.